Imagine flipping a pen into the air. Let's also imagine that the pen is connected to a spring. As the rigid body flies from one position, let's call it position one, to another position, let's call it position two, there will undoubtedly be forces present on the object. For starters, there will be a force due to gravity acting on its center of mass. There will be a spring force acting here, and there could be many other forces. Evaluating the motion of the pen using Newton's laws would be very difficult. It's easier to use energy methods. The formula for general plane motion is a half mv2 squared minus v1 squared plus a half ig omega2 squared minus omega1 squared plus mg y2 minus y1 plus a half k l2 squared minus l1 squared is equal to w. The shorthand notation for this is the change in kinetic energy plus the change in gravitational potential energy plus the change in elastic energy is equal to W. V1 and V2 are the speeds of the center of mass at positions 1 and 2 in meters per second. IG is the moment of inertia of the pen about its center of mass in kilograms meters squared. Omega-1 and omega-2 are the angular velocities of the pen at positions 1 and 2 in radians per second. Y1 and Y2 are the vertical distances from any arbitrary axis to the center of mass of the pen at positions 1 and 2 in meters. And L1 and L2 are the displacements of the spring from equilibrium at positions 1 and 2, also in meters. W is the work done by all other external forces. This formula will always work, but for fixed axis rotation, where the pen might be pinned at a point O, the whole change in kinetic energy term can also be evaluated by delta Ke is equal to a half Io omega 2 squared minus omega 1 squared, where Io is the moment of inertia of the pen about the pin.